who's the winner of the $20,000 prize, Suey McEnany. Congratulations. Thank you. Suey has won um, uh, with his magnificent work, uh, outstanding as some one of the clients said today. Perhaps if you want to just stand up on the side. Really? So everyone can see. Yeah, so everyone can see yeah, your, your outstanding work. Chrysalis, the netted plum. Suey, could you tell us about the location of this painting? Um, this is outside the doors of the tractor shed. Which is up the foothills of uh, the Great Divide of uh, Book Warren, Tarry, the area. And that's the outside in the morning when you. Well, because we've enclosed the big open bays with glass doors, so the outside is inside. And it's just like a big warehouse. So it, it reflects, you know, the, the shadows and everything. Coming out some walls and apart from that, it's breathtaking and beautiful. So you do the gas and you work out the morning. Oh, really good. That was fantastic. <laughs> um, what is it, Sylvia, about the landscape that constantly inspires you? The light. And um, I was lucky enough when I was younger to have female mates that were great adventurers. So we would camp. Pastels, you know, that took 30 years ago. And um, I like it because of the 
self-validity in our next life. Um, it was like, yeah, I, uh, like what you said, you know, everything was going to be done and that captured the magic of the atmosphere, which like guys painting does capture that, that atmosphere and that um, landscape. But, um, and, you know, I found that if you get your label and you can scratch back and you can build up and you can get a, um, get that salt mutability of the atmosphere. So anyway, they stopped making big ones and they started making large. Oh, by the way, it was developed for Picasso um, back in the turn of the last century, who, uh, you know, there was a little shop in Basin, San Rio, Vegas, and the owner, writer with the major Picasso. He developed this stuff to, to the art title and character for the Picasso. But then, now I can't get it. Well then, okay, I couldn't get the big, because I'd like a big girl in six, I couldn't get the size. So I boiled them down and got about seven expensive similes down to get a double boiler and pour them into a cardboard while I'm lying in the corner. And I'll tell you, the chemist's wonders. Watch out, we've tracked that. It's very active. So, we, I have another question that I'm sure a lot of the audience um, must at some stage think about as well. But did you always aspire to be an artist? Or, or was it just something that happened? Like, what, it, was there a moment when you three said years old. you were three? No, always, but it just took me a long time to have self confidence to actually pursue professional life, which naturally makes you extremely poor for extremely long time. <laughs> um, it, it was, look. You know, I mean, life has always um, made images in me. It's always been there. Like, I always dream painting. And I spent all my time as a kid um, drawing. Yes. So, but then, you know, you have other responsibilities and stuff happen. And also, I used to play in the rock and roll band. And I really like showing up. That was just fun. It was a compelling thing for me. It's compelling. It's compelling. You've got to do it or you can. And uh, <laughs> they're, they're in that. Uh, it is Skippy your passion. As it is, which I really, really got the nuts and bolts of the reality of actually working. Because, I mean, some people say to me, it must be relaxing to paint. <laughs> just look at them in wonder and think. Uh, you, you really don't know. It's, Thrilling or it's hell. It's never relaxing. It's obviously uh, physically exhausting, yeah. particularly when you're doing such a large work as this. And it, well, it, you, you don't even notice that, you know, you like you can something. be kneeling. Uh, if, if you were going to do a pick up to, to do the house cleaning, you'd be in agony, but you'd sort of. You know, you're going to this mode where you don't really notice your body much. Um, but it is good to, to be doing a work that engages your sides, you know, or something, you know, that you can really get into. Yes. How fascinating. Um, I, I did want to ask you as well a question I asked a guy. Um, who, I'm sure there will be many possibly artists have have inspired you. You well, just too much you, you, you did mention as well um, the, uh, our um, colonial painters. Yes, that's um, yes. And look, this is what I thank you for because there is a great tradition of landscape uh, painting in Australia. And you know, they have given such voice to our national idea and all that stuff. Yes. And you've run this, conceived of it, run this uh, prize, the Australian landscape. And I know it's been a labor of love, and I know it's been really, really hard sometimes. As, as an answer, we thank you for it, because, you know, yeah. it means a lot to me. Well, it's my pleasure, of course. <laughs> but uh, uh, just to see our 
artist has difficulty with paintings, sometimes I run up to some bears, <laughs> uh, but we press on no matter what the odds, and uh, somehow, by perhaps a minor miracles, uh, each year we keep producing, well, an exhibition, and uh, uh, you need to work with us. Like all the artists, we live in hope. <laughs> and it is the only way to live. And, uh, and it's probably the only way to keep painting. And um, uh, yes, so, so we, we continue on. Well, it's more like living in painting or living in um, what would you call it, what you do, which is a wonderful thing yeah. to have a passion yeah. outside so yourself to support. Well, look, um, I, I just want to say at this point, um, if anyone else wishes to ask a particular question, please feel free to do so now or a little later. Uh, I want to especially thank Guy and Sui for participating today and also for your involvement over the years in the Paddington Enterprise. <coughs> Your paintings, both of you, are truly an inspiration to everyone. And your commitment to your art practice is so appreciated and admired by me. Okay. So, with that, I want to thank everyone for coming today and showing your support for the Paddington Art Guide.